we went to a Hilton Grand Vacations timeshare sales presentation at Park Soleil in Orlando, Florida. What did we think? We're just first timers. I'll talk about it right after this. Hello and welcome to Destination Timeshare. I'm Jeremy. If you're new here, I want to let you know on this channel, I can provide my knowledge, tips and advice to help you get the most from your timeshare ownership. But if you don't own timeshare, but you love visiting fantastic timeshare resort properties, I also do village tours, resort tours, and resort reviews as well. But I also do videos like this, providing timeshare tips and other timeshare commentary, all about the timeshare industry. And specifically today, we're gonna to be talking about our experience, kind of my review of our very first timeshare presentation with Hilton Grand Vacations Club. So we kept getting all kinds of email offers from Hilton Grand Vacations for discounted stays either in Las Vegas, Hilton Head Island, or Orlando. And each email was a little bit different. They offered different incentives. You're not getting something for cheap for nothing. You do have to attend a mandatory timeshare sales presentation with Hilton Grand Vacations. But for your trouble, they would offer a gift. Now, in our instance, we actually took a $200 spend a night on us certificate. There are some restrictions to that, so I will tell you about it in a little bit, so stick around for that. Or there were some other offers that were different between the different emails, some that included Hilton H Honors points, and maybe a few other different ones, but I think it was pretty much primarily just Hilton H Honors points or this $200 certificate. So how exactly does this work? We essentially signed up, purchased it online, we got a deal, $149 for three nights, four days in Orlando at either Hilton Grand Vacations Club, Tuscany Village, or the one over by SeaWorld. So purchase it online, no trouble there, but you can't actually make your reservations online. Of course, as soon as you sign up, they start sending you emails pretty regularly asking for you to set your date or make your reservation. And you essentially have to do that by calling. But at one point I actually received an email it was actually offering an incentive to book our stay before a certain date. In our case, it was travel by the end of May, 2022. And they would actually give us an additional $100 activity credit. So with that email though, it was also kind of interesting. There was a way you could fill out a web form, click the link, went to a web form to request dates that you wanted. Since we had sent an email to them, they reviewed it, saw if the dates were available, and if they were, then, hey, they confirmed your reservation. Good thing for us, the dates we requested were available, got an email, we were good to go. So we had the $200 spend a night on us certificate, plus because we were traveling before the end of May, 2022, they were gonna give us an additional $100 activity credit. So we go, we check in for our timeshare stay at Hilton Grand Vacations Club, Tuscany Village, beautiful property in Orlando, Florida, and I actually have a number of videos from that property, resort tour and villa tour. I'll put a link to the playlist right up here if you wanna check that out. But check in, really no problems checking in. Our room is available actually really early in the morning. We checked in early around 10.30 a.m. Room was available, no issues with the room. Beautiful resort, beautiful property, beautiful villa. They'd actually upgraded us to a one bedroom, so that was kinda of cool. I believe they normally book you into a studio but I guess if they have availability, they'll bump you up oh, to entice you a little bit more to liking the product when you get to that timeshare sales presentation. Now, when you make your reservation for your stay, they automatically schedule your timeshare sales presentation. For us, it was two o'clock in the afternoon on a Sunday, which wasn't really the best time for most people because who wants to spend their Sunday afternoon at a timeshare sales presentation, right? Well. We did, we, we didn't really argue. We said, hey, we'll go ahead and do it. So our timeshare sales presentation was actually at Park Soleil, not at Tuscany Village where we were staying. So we had to head over there. No issues getting in, just tell the guard at the gate, hey, you have a presentation. They'll tell you where to go. You park, you head up to the sales gallery. So when you arrive at the sales gallery, there's a representative kind of on the ground floor. You check in with, they just tell you what floor to go to. So when you get to that floor, you kind of check in they kind of get you started. They actually send you over to like a kiosk, which is really just an iPad where they have you start answering questions to kind of get a profile on you. Kind of things like, where do you like to vacation? How often you vacation? What are your bucket list trips? That kind of thing. You know, They're kind of trying to get to know you a little bit already. So they 
kind of know how to pitch you when you get to the actual presentation. So then just as we're finishing up that, our sales representative comes over to us, really nice lady. So then she actually takes us up to another floor to show us a villa, beautiful two bedroom villa at Park Soleil. Really can't complain about the quality of the accommodations at either of the two properties, Tuscany Village or Park Soleil. So then when we're done with the villa tour, it's time to head down and we actually have to sit in on a group presentation to kind of just get an idea of how the program works. So you say that everybody in this group presentation is actually there through their affiliation or their membership in the Hilton Honors Program. So I guess that's how they marketed to us because I am, or actually my wife and I are Hilton Honors members. So that's how they've been getting my email address to send those emails, even though I haven't stayed at a Hilton hotel in probably many, many years. But they go through this group presentation, very hyper person up front, all kinds of energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Raw, raw, raw. You know, that kind of stuff. Make you really want to fall in love with the product. Tell you about Hilton Grand Vacations. They tell you about their acquisition of Diamond Resorts and just kind of touch briefly on HTV Max. They really don't get into a lot of details about that. But I do actually have another video talking a little bit more about HTV Max. I'll put a link to it up there. But yeah, that kind of group presentation, very, very fast paced. A lot of information showing you lots of flashy pictures, nice videos. And then when that's over, your actual tour guide, your sales representative comes back in and then they lead you to kind of a cubicle area where you sit down with them and actually talk a little bit more about your interests and if it's something you would be willing to consider. So they did ask if it's something we would be interested in. I did want to get some information on prices. So I said, yeah, go ahead and show us some prices. But yeah, they did know we were Marriott Vacation Club owners, mainly because I told them. So their offer, what they were pitching to us, was kind of a small package just to kind of get in the door because we obviously own other timeshare. We don't need too much additional timeshare. But yeah, they wanted to kind of just get us in the door and obviously in the future hope we buy more. So what exactly were those offers? Well, I actually came out with the sheet that has the information on it. Just kind of rough information of price, maintenance fee, and cost. So essentially for 3,520 points, so essentially it would be a week somewhere at a resort that essentially converts to or has 3,520 Hilton Grand Vacation Club points associated with it, would be $13,000. These were every other year weeks that they were pitching to us, not annual. So it seemed kind of high, actually, $13,000 for an every other year week, which from what I understand and what I've been told is it's actually a studio week somewhere kind of in the prime season or the high season. And then the other one that they pitched to us was 2,560 points for $9,750. Again, I believe another studio probably in the mid to low season. So yeah, I wasn't really interested in buying too much. We turned down both of those offers. We were just wanted to be there, kind of kind of get to experience what a Hilton Grand Vacations Club timeshare sales presentation is like, at least kind of compared to Marriott Vacation Club and Vistana. And I must say, Hilton Grand Vacations was very professional. All of their employees were very professional and actually all quite pleasant. So now when you're done with the timeshare sales presentation, they send somebody in to kind of try and pitch you what I believe they call a VIP package. Different timeshare companies have this, essentially kind of just something that they try and sign you up for to get you to come back again later within say the next year or 18 months for another timeshare presentation and another discounted stay. These actually have really good conversion rates. So that's why they always pitch them at the end. Now something actually kind of funny, kind of interesting, the guy that came over to show us this package, he actually recognized me from the channel, from Destination Timeshare, says he watches these videos. So really nice guy. Unfortunately, I don't remember your name if you're watching this video, but hello, it was definitely nice to meet you. So yeah, they do try and pitch you this offer. He really didn't go into a whole lot of details on that. Just kind of exchange pleasantries, had a nice chat about Timeshare, really nice guy, and like I said, Everybody there was really nice, really professional, and really not high pressure at all. 
definitely one of the lowest pressure timeshare sales presentations that we have been to. So once your timeshare sales presentation is done, you'll go to the checkout area. It's just an area with a few people there checking you out and providing your gift or your incentive. Now, this is something that you actually need to be prepared for when you get there. Know ahead of time, if you have one of these offers that is a spend a night on us, you need to know what brand of property, Hilton property specifically, you plan on using it at because you have to select the brand while you're there. And once you've picked it, you can't change it. They give you a certificate that is essentially specific to that brand. The brands that they actually have to pick from are Double Tree by Hilton, Hilton Garden Inn, Hampton by Hilton, Hilton Hotels and Resorts, Embassy Suites, and Homewood Suites. So those are the brands that you can specifically pick from. And like I said, you have to pick a specific brand. So we were actually caught a little bit off guard by this because we didn't really know what brand we wanted to pick. Kind of had an idea of where we wanted to use it, but we didn't know specifically what brands were in the area. Good thing was though, we had an iPad there. We were able to connect to their Wi-Fi and figure out what brand was in the area. And we decided we wanted to go with a Hampton by Hilton. So know ahead of time, kind of have a general idea of where you want to use it. And also realize that this certificate has to be used within six months. So if you're not gonna be able to travel anywhere in six months at one of these properties, it's gonna kind of be a little bit tricky to use. and they're kind of well aware of that when you're at the checkout process because they're very quick to also let you take, instead of this $200 certificate, 15,000 Hilton Honors points. Now I did some math on this, kind of did some searches, how much are Hilton Honors points worth? And kind of everything kind of told me that at most, 15,000 points are really only worth about, at most, $100. So the $200 is definitely better than the Hilton Honors Points, but I think they kind of use that to catch you off guard, hoping that you'll just take the 15,000 points. And I actually overheard a few people say, hey, yeah, we'll just take the points. We don't know where we want to go. We'll take the points and use the points when really it isn't as good of a value. And I think that's kind of what they're hoping you'll take. Now, another thing to keep in mind, the certificate, like I said, is only good for six months and it really isn't a true discount. You have to book your stay pay for your stay, and then it works like a rebate. So you fill out the form, you mail it in, and they mail it back to you. That rebate in the form of a Visa gift card. One other quick thing just to mention here, in addition to having to complete that stay within six months of your timeshare presentation, is that you also have to mail back that form within 30 days of your stay, along with a copy of the folio. So it's not truly a Spend a night on us, I guess it is, but it's kind of like those rebates that we all hated having to do after we bought something at the store, right? You had to fill out that form, mail it in, wait six to eight weeks for processing for them to send you back a rebate. So a little bit cumbersome to use, definitely not as great as it sounds when you sign up for it. So just some of those things to keep in mind when you're signed up for this spend a night on us certificate. So that's it, kind of our experience with a Hilton Grand Vacations timeshare presentation and discounted stay in Orlando, these kind of preview packages, they call them, to get you to come in, get you that cheap vacation so they can sell you a timeshare. I hope you learned something here. If you did, let me know all about it down in the comments below. And if you have any questions about timeshares, timeshare sales presentations, or even Hilton Grand Vacations, leave those down in the comments below as well. And if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps out these videos and maybe it'll get them out to more people looking to do timeshare sales presentations with Hilton Grand Vacations. And to see more videos all about timeshare, check out the description box below. And for another video about Hilton Grand Vacations, check out this one right up here and YouTube. They're pretty sure you'll like that one down there. Be sure to subscribe. You can do so by clicking on my picture right here. Hit that notification bell. And until next time, remember, the best memories are made in a timeshare.